Hey guys, and welcome back to another episode. Let's play The Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword with me, Gina. In the last episode, we finally finished the Fire Sanctuary. We are finally done, and we're so close to finishing the game. I keep saying that in every single episode, I feel like. <laughs> but it's true, is it not? Look at us, we're almost done with all our hearts. Um... But anyways, in this episode, we're going to do more of, uh, we're going to collect a little bit of more treasure, some heart pieces, and we're going to continue on with the story. I actually did a gameplay of, or I already did an episode of this episode, and it's already rendered and everything, but I screwed up on it. Um, I forgot to get some heart pieces, and I screwed up a heart piece, so I don't want that to be, you know, shown. And then if you guys are using this for Let's Play purposes, uh, I don't want you guys to do the same mistake I did. But anyways, if you guys remember, before we started the Fire Sanctuary, we kind of ran into this little uh, truth tablet stone thing, and it says, Rumor has it that there's a piece of heart hidden somewhere nearby. The thing is, to get to it, you need to be able to burrow like a magma. So now, uh, with our new handy-dandy improved digging mitts, we actually can burrow like a magma. So let's get the heck down here, and let's go ahead and get that... Um, piece of heart so you just burrow down and you uh burrow up burrow up that doesn't make sense you you ascend to the surface <laughs> and you can collect um some fairies here if you like um i already have two fairies so i'm good maybe i'll just touch one give me your power you fairies thank you they're so pretty fairies are very rare in this game i've noticed in ocarina of time there's like a shitload of them everywhere so here's our uh, one of our pieces of heart um, and this is actually some of the last piece of heart in the game. This is the fourth to last one, I think. Yeah, I think so. But yeah, that's, uh, that's pretty cool here. I kind of wish they put a little bit more of a puzzle here. That would have been a little neat, uh, more puzzle solving. But, oh, trust me, guys. We'll be getting our puzzle solving here in a little bit. Probably not in this episode or the next, but it will be coming, I assure you. <laughs> But anyways, um, we are done for this area for now. We'll, we will be returning, not to the temple, but to the Elden area um, sometime in the f near future. But we're going to go ahead and just go to the sky. <coughs> Excuse me. And return to the sky. Go to the sky and return to the sky. <laughs> and we're going to check our map for more goodies that we can collect. Just like every after every single temple, you want to check your map for any uh, new goddess chests that have appeared. Okay, so let's see. Let's get rid of this beacon because it's going to confuse the crap out of me. So let's see. We have three chests to open. One's near this freaking crap in it, dudes. Oh, I don't like you, you stupid clown. I don't like you. Okay. I hate clowns. I hate clowns. I'm already shaking because I'm scared. Let's put these beacons down. Oh, let's put these beacons down. So it seems like two of them are in the Thunderhead and one of them's out here. So let's go ahead and, and go towards, uh, I guess, Mr. Stupid Dodo Happy Fun Time Island Place crap. Crappity crap crap. But while we're flying over there, I'm going to take this time to talk to you guys. Um, so it's been a long time since I've uploaded an episode of Skyward Sword. Um, there are... I can make excuses all I want. <laughs> Um, I have been pretty lazy on recording, but also I've been very busy with school. You know, school's always in the way of everything, isn't it? It seems like that's everyone's excuse. And also, I just don't have enough, you know, time anymore to do recordings. Um, I've been pretty, like I said, very busy with school. I have a test coming up next week. It's going to be pretty... Oh, where am I? Am I going the right direction? Am I going the right... Heck no, I'm not going the right direction. I'm going the opposite direction. Let's turn around. Let's turn this thing around. There we go. This way, right? Is it this way? Yes, it is this way. It is this way. Um, but yeah, I've been very busy with school. I had a midterm last week, I think it was. No, it was two weeks ago. And then I have a math test coming up next week. And then also, 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 also I'm really, really happy for this. Um, I am going to the Zelda Symphony tomorrow night. Um, it's actually in town today, um, o uh, October 21st, um, here in Houston, but, um, I don't have a ticket for that one. I have a ticket for tomorrow, which I should have gotten a ticket for today, because I am, uh, I don't work today. I was told to not work today, because we don't have enough, uh, hours to go by, whatever. But I have school tomorrow, and the, the lame thing is that 
my class ends at 7 40, or 7 15 and the concert starts at 7 30 so i'm not going to have any time to actually like take pictures of the cosplays or buy merchandise i'm gonna have to just go straight there from school thank goodness the school is only like 15 minutes i can just take the the rail uh, the train and just uh just go to the theater um anyways this is our first chest <laughs> I get off track so easily, but we get gold rupee. We get more money for uh, to buy some pimpin' hoes. Okay, yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, so that was chest number one out of three. Let's get rid of this beacon. We're gonna go ahead and go into the Thunderhead here. So let's let's go ahead and do that. But yes, I will be going to the Zelda Symphony tomorrow. I'm not gonna be tr uh, cosplaying just because I don't have any money to cosplay with. You know, you need money to cosplay, and you need kind of some kind of sewing skills, which I suck at. I suck at sewing. I'm pretty good at prop making though. Um, and I will be going with my friend Jonathan. So. That's going to be really, really fun. I'm really excited. Even if I have to miss a little bit of the concert. Um, oh, I'm really tempted to go tonight. I'm pretty sure they have some tickets. I'm really tempted to go tonight. I'm just so tempted to go. But I have a lot of homework to do. Um, and unfortunately, the class I have tomorrow night, we're going to be doing a lab. And the labs always take even longer. So hopefully I can get my lab done on time and leave a little bit earlier because my friend's pretty bummed that I won't be able to join him to take pictures of the cosplayers and, and such. But we'll, we'll make it work. I'm pretty sure we'll, we'll make it work. I am determined to make it work because <laughs> I've waited two years to watch the Zelda Symphony. Two, count them, two years. Not months, not weeks, not days. Years. Because when I first heard of the symphony, they had just finished their 2000 whatever last time they were traveling the world and then they skipped a year to to relax and you know take a little breather so i had to wait a whole year so i've technically yeah waited two years for this thing and i'm really excited i can't believe i'm going to see them um they performed on the late night show as a good friend of mine informed me um and i saw that i didn't see it on tv live but i did see it in youtube videos so it was it was a pretty cool thing to see um, but anyways, um, we are on top of the Isle of Songs now, and this is our second chest out of the three that we're getting. And let's see what's in this chest. Okay, so we get a bomb bag. You can hold five extra bombs. Um, really not that important unless you like to blow the crap out of things, which I technically do, but not specifically in this game. I really like it in uh, Twilight Princess, especially with the bows and the arrows and the bombs and stuff like that, so... That's pretty cool. Um, also, one more thing to point out to you guys. I am putting my Let's Play of Jack and Daxter and um, Jet Set Radio on hold. Uh, as you guys can already tell since I haven't uploaded those in months. Uh, reason being is because since we're so close to being done with Skyward Sword, I really want to finish Skyward Sword as quickly as possible. And I did not land in the right spot. And I'm going to run into the wall! <laughs> Holy crap, I did! Um, but yes, I really want to finish Skyward Sword as soon as possible so I can move on with my life. I love Skyward Sword, but holy damn, this has been going on for how long now? Almost two years? It'll be two years in March. If I don't finish by March, I will be so pissed at myself. I really, really want to finish this game by March. <laughs> But anyways, we got a piece of hearts in this chest. We have two more to go. Yeah. And let's jump back on our loft wing. Um, and also, just to point out, this island that I just landed on, it looks very uh, intricate, doesn't it? So we're going to be coming back to this island soon for a little side quest. Um, and it's kind of an important side quest. Um, it's pretty cool. I like it. Um, it can be a little... A little um, mind wrecking or whatever you can say uh, you need some good skills for that one but it's it's not bad guys if I can do it you can do it um, but anyways what we're gonna do now is um, we're gonna go into the uh, sacred grounds to meet up with Groose and the old woman see what they're up to it's been a long time since we've seen them um, but like I said we're only gonna be doing pretty much story based things in this video and we already collected our the goodies that we wanted so I will meet y'all in the sacred grounds okay so we made it to the secret grounds we're actually gonna go behind the temple um, and we're quickly uh, <laughs> walking by goblins holy crap but see how easily I'm taking them out 
just like one or two blows. Because my sword is freaking sharp as a freaking, I don't know, knife. Very sharp knife. <laughs> Um, but there's a reason why we landed here. Um, if you remember our good friend Gorko, who's going to be right up here in this little area. And this is the thing, this is the area I screwed up in my last recording. I do not want to <laughs> screw this up, because this is very important. Do not mess this up. So we're going to go ahead and talk to him. Mm -hmm. Oh, hey, bud. You would probably want to know that I have been blood, or seeing blessed butterflies uh, flapping around here lately. Mm -hmm. Too bad I have absolutely no musical talent uh, whatsoever. I could not create beautiful tones to save my life. Well, luckily, we can, because we're a freaking boss. Um, play this standing still. We don't want to be moving around. I did that mistake, too. I was, like, running around. I'm like, okay, why is it not working? <laughs> Whoa, I think my heart stopped. This is it, the discovery of a lifetime. There is no mistaking it. This symbol must mark one of the goddess walls left for the hero by the goddess. Now, before you draw something on this wall, do not make the same mistake I did. I drew rupees. Do not draw anything on this wall yet. You're going to talk to Gorko one more time. I came across an ancient volume in the course of my research. Want to know more about it? Or whatever he says in the bottom text that I didn't read properly? Of course! Arrow in repose. Ye who yearns uh, to strike targets from afar, draw this shape so that it may be known. Hmm. So yes... As you cannot tell by what he said, you want to draw an arrow. This is why I tell you do not draw anything else, because he tells you what to draw. I was very smart and I drew rupees, because I love drawing rupees. So let's draw an arrow. Um, all you gotta do is just draw a line and kind of like a little pointy thing. I don't know if it matters if you need to draw it like vertically or. I've never drawn it vertically, and I'm not going to try. I just know the horizontal way of drawing it is the correct way to doing it. Sweet Goron! So that is what the ancient writing meant by striking targets from afar. Uh, you said arrow in repose. <laughs> You're so stupid. For helping me out with my research, I would like to give you a little something. And that little something is a piece of heart. So like I said, do not do the mistake I did earlier. <laughs> I was so rushed into doing the rupees, I was just not paying attention. So anyways, yes, Gorko, my main man, thank you for that heart piece. Now we only have what? How many do we have to do? How can I check that again? Let's see. I wasn't paying attention to how many I have. Oh gosh. Okay, there we go. We only have one more piece of heart in the game, guys. One more. We already have pretty much everything else. We're missing a song. We're missing whatever the heck that thing is. I don't know what that is. I'll be honest with you. But we pretty much have everything. Let's see. There's, uh, you can do all sorts of cool stuff here. But yeah, we're pretty set here. Uh, the only thing I'm missing really is a, some bird feathers and some hornet larva. But we'll get that soon. I don't know what this is. I forgot that is. Skyloft mantis and sky stag beetle, which I believe you can get those from, um, from Skyloft. But anyways, yes, let's get out of here and uh, let's actually go to our main purpose is uh, to visit Miss Little Granny and Groose and see what they're up to. Alright. Hey, what's up, Granny? What's up? You're looking fabulous today. Oh, those wrinkles really show your your wisdom there. Oh, look, let me poke at my sword. It's it's nice and big, isn't it? That was not very appropriate. <laughs> ah, your sword. <laughs> ah, your sword. It's so large. <laughs> there can be no doubts the sacred flames have purified this blade. Well done, Link. That sword holds tremendous power. That power is a sacred force. It is a divine power left to us by the gods of old. The same power that is spoken of in the Ballad of the Goddess. To look upon you is to see the same great power now flowing through you and the sword you carry. Come, Link, you must now open the gate of time. Not the sacred force dwells within your blade. Strike the gate of time with a skyward strike and it will surely awaken. Climb upon the pedestal and show the gate your sword's power. Alright. Well, what we got to say? Y'all look like twins. You got a pointy head, and you got a pointy head. 
Huh, am I? And I got a pointy hat. And we all have pointy ears. I guess there's a thing going on here. Oh. Yo, Link, saw the rail track I put outside, huh? What's it for? Duh. <laughs> oh, you'll see before long. What, if we're blowing the crap out of things? Okay, I'm up for that. And of course, before we can open it, there's gonna be a loud tremble, trembling sound. No, I feel that the seal has given way once again. The terrible beast is awakening even as we speak. It is likely that the monster reached to the sacred power given off by your sword. Or reacted, I mean. <laughs> I wish it had, uh, had not happened, but there is no other way to open the gate. So it goes. Link, you must imprison the beast once again. Of course, I know my role here, ma'am. And Gruus is re ready to show us what he's made of. Well, what are you waiting for? I'm heading out there. Okay, I'll meet you out there here in a little bit, dude. Run as slow as you can. And I'm just going to be standing here doing nothing. And Granny's just going to sit here doing nothing. Okay, alright. We'll see how it is. All these young... Uh, us youngins have to do the all the work, huh? Alright. Hey, Link! Yo! Duh. <laughs> Try not to drool on your shirt as you stare at this amazing super weapon I've been working on. And he thinks of the perfect name. The Gruzinator! <laughs> and you can actually... The cool thing about this thing is that you can actually shoot Link from the catapult. But I don't know if I'll be showing that off in this video. I We will be showing it off later though. There's another boss fight with this thing that will be shooting Link off from the catapults because he runs out of bombs and then Link's like, oh, let me shoot off of this catapult. It's a pretty cool nifty idea. But basically, uh, just like it shows, it's a catapult to throw bombs. We're going to use these bombs to throw at our uh, imprisoned friend here. Um, but Groose does say he has to get it ready and I don't think he's actually played with this machine before. I don't know. We'll see. Uh, but basically, we're just going to go ahead and do the same thing we've done before is fight our friend. Let's see how much he's changed this time around. Imprisoned with with arms and feet, a uh, funky sea looking feet. Look at that! Seems like our ugly friend <laughs> grew himself a pair of hands. See, even Gru says so. <laughs> but he'll let us know when the catapult is ready. So let's uh, let's uh, fight this thing. But actually, there's actually a little um, shortcut to find this guy. As you can see, he now has these giant black and red rings shooting out of his feet. Um, so as you can tell, it's going to be pretty difficult to hit all those toes like we've been doing. So the way we're going to fight him is uh, we're going to well, I'll, I'll demonstrate here in a little bit but he's going to try to grab onto the ledge with his arms now. So do not let him succeed in climbing up because that will definitely screw you over because that he'll reach the temple and it's just game over from then on and I have reached a game over so let's just go up here um, and let Groose handle it let our buddy Groose do his work and he basically explains the controls of the machine um, you just want to move the thing around with your joystick and press A to shoot bombs uh, let's see if we can aim this properly I really suck at aiming this thing trust me I suck really bad there was one time I fought this thing and I just could not aim to save my life. Alright, dude. Just pack another one on there and call me when you're ready. Uh, yeah. Let go of the freaking ledge! Thank you, you stupid thing. Now what we're gonna do is jump on his head. Uh, oh gosh, oh gosh. Okay, yes. 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 There we go. That's what I want to show you guys. That's the shortcut way to doing it. Just jump on his head. And hit that thing. 
And we're going to be thrown off here like some kind of cowboy at a rodeo. And we're going to do this three times until he's out for the count. And Groose is right again. But before we do that, let's, uh, let's, let's uh, actually go over here. Oh no, that's not what I wanted! Holy... Well, we can do this, I guess. That's a pretty... Let's, uh, let's dive. Oh, this is pretty cool. Let's see if I can, if I can actually get onto his head like this. Huh. That's pretty... That's an easier way to do this. I did Oh, okay, I missed. Oh, get up. Oh, look at that! Huh. I, I will use that method now. <laughs> I didn't even think about doing that. I mean, I knew about it. But I never thought of it. Oh crap! Oh crap! Okay, okay. Let's. Okay, Groose, can you stop this thing? Can you stop it? Stop it, Groose! Stop it! Stop it! Yeah! There you go, Groose. Good job. Where are you, you stupid thing? Let's go up here. Really? As soon as I jump into the vortex, air vent thing. How the heck did you go way over there? I don't know. Let's just, let's just, let's just uh, look it up here again. I like the Groose and Link combo, man. Not that I'm saying I'm into Yowie. They're Yowie. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Oh, did I make it? No, heck no, I didn't. Okay, can I? Let's see. Let's, let's catch this one. There he goes again. You're trying to. You're trying to go up into the temple now. That ain't gonna work, dude, because I got Groose on my side now. And actually, Groose is a big help. He really is. I don't think we would be able to win this without him. Come on! Thank you, Groose! Throw that thing at him! Hit him! Yes! Yes, good job. He was almost gonna make it. Thank you! Holy crap. Okay, it's okay. Okay, get your, get your, get your hands off of here. You scrub. I was trying to think of the word that Rajan uses. Scrub. Oh, shoot! That was not cool! Holy crap! Let's see. Let's see. Can I do the same thing I did earlier? Uh, come on, Gruz. Are you going to load another bomb for me, dude? Actually, now I can't. Okay. Dive, Link, dive. Okay, can I do this? Can I do this? Can I do this? Can I do this? Oh, God. Oh, okay. Fine then. Fine then. Let's just... Oh, holy crap. Let's just get the heck out of the way. Uh, alright, Groose. Do your thing, dude. Hit that thing. Thank you. Hit that thing so I can actually get on his head and kill the thing. Finally, can I kill you now? Can I reach you before you, uh, like, gain your consciousness, dude? Uh, can I... Oh, thank you. Oh, what the heck? Why can't I... Oh my god, okay, okay, okay. Let's, let's see, let's see, let's see. Come on, dude. I can do this. I can do this. I can do this. Uh, don't go over there, please, please. Let's see. Groose, come on. Groose, come on. Come on, Groose. Oh god, he. Oh god. I guess after the third attempt, he knows. Well, I'm gonna save Groose for here. Let's uh, let's let's get actually. Oh god. Now I don't know how to. I know, Groose, that you're ready. I know that you're ready. I'm not ready though. I'm trying to get past this monster, but if I go... Oh god. Oh god, oh god. Okay. No, I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. Uh, Gina's lost, Gina's lost, Gina's lost. Let's just shoot this thing. There we go. Okay, let's, let's take this air vent. I should have taken this air vent first. Oh my god, can I do this? I can do this! I can kill this thing! No! Oh! Gosh! No, no, no! Come on, vent! Where'd you go? My stamina is almost done! I know, I know, he's almost to the freaking. Yes, I know! 
If Link, if oh god, oh god, please don't make it to the temple. You're almost to the temple. Okay, I'm. Okay, thank you, Groose. Thank you, Groose. All right, shoot that thing. Thank you. Can I land on your head? See, Link is right next to you. Can I land on your head, please? Please let me land on your head. Thank you. Thank you. Holy crap! Come on. Aim down. Thank you. Finally. <laughs> That was a, that was a close call, guys. He was close. As you can see, the, uh, the little picture on the side, on the left-hand side, shows you how close he is to the temple, and it was glowing red at me. It was saying, "Hey, are you gonna kill this thing? Cause it's almost to the temple. It's almost game over." Yeah, that was pretty, that was pretty close. <laughs> Finally, <laughs> we have killed or not killed but sealed the monster yet again thank goodness thank you Hylia for not helping me no I'm kidding she she's probably helping me a lot here that was really close oh my god that was even closer than my last recording mm. my last recording I actually killed him pretty quickly I don't know what took me so long in this one you never know what's gonna happen guys so let's go ahead and go to the bottom of this. Oh, I forgot to use my little... Oh, I'm sorry, Link. I'm sorry, dude. Okay, let's get down here and seal this thing one more time. There we go. Good job. Children? And with that, we have our monster sealed again. Who knows how long it'll last this time around. Nice work there, Link. Of course, you couldn't have done it without me. But no need to thank Groose. I know I saved your tail. Now let's get uh, that Gate of Time thing up and running. I'll go on ahead. And he's right. I wouldn't have been able to, be able to do this if it wasn't for him. <laughs> really, if it wasn't for him. If I was really pro, I would probably would be able to, but I am not that pro. <laughs> but anyways, um, I think I'm going to cut it for here. Um, and then the next episode, we're really going to be doing some major story covering in the next episode. Major story covering. So be prepared to listen and read in the next video. But anyways, uh, thank you so much uh, for watching uh, this episode of Let's Play The Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword with yours truly, Gina. Um, thank you so much for sticking with me. Um, please hit that like button and subscribe for more videos. Um, and I will see y'all in the next episode. Y'all have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.